Oh, Babari. It's all good chain, no Tatsumaki. <laughs> I was just skimming through one of my favorite uh, game franchises of all time, Battle Shock. Yeah, this game brought me back from one of the first FPSs actually played physically. Uh, got somewhere in 2012, give or take, on my first PS3 I ever gotten. And boy, he, man. It's probably one of my favorite games in my possession. Yeah. Uh, well, this is one of the part of the videos where I more or less discuss, you know, games and game franchises and, you know, how to play in quirks, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I got, got the coin. Well, first off, Bow Shock, the first Bow Shock is an RPG first person shooter so yeah you know it's not like Call of Duty and what so it's just a regular you know FPS RPG uh, made by Kevin Levine somewhere in 2006 2007 give or take I forgot uh, I was 14 give or take when I played this game and I probably thought it was probably one of the coolest games I ever played. Uh, Bioshock 1, uh, from all three of them, is probably actually my favorite one for uh, personal reasons. But yeah, pretty much Bioshock 1 is my favorite game. The interior, how you in the interior, how it was designed. The game manual, how how the front cover looked, you know, wasn't, you know, the traditional game thing where the manual looked at like the front cover, but it was actually a different illustration. And actually, for a long time, I didn't know this, but if you actually pull up, if you actually pull up the box art and switch it, it's actually its own cover art. Yeah, it's kind of torn, has some age to it, but yeah, you know, if you actually pull up the box art, if you actually pull up the box art, it actually has, you know, a, a cover art to it, you know, here and there. Uh, yeah, just one more uh, look-see, you know, hold on, it's kind of gentle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> PS3, the greatest hits. I don't got the Xbox version. Maybe, perhaps it probably has a great case. I don't know. I really didn't have Xbox growing up. But, yeah, you know. Uh, RPG shooter. And, uh, more or less get the ability to loot and whatnot you know and yeah probably one of my favorite favorite games my favorite game franchise is played by Kevin Levine somewhere in, in the late 200, uh, 2000s and then more or less when you move on and somewhere give or take 2009 I'm not sure you get Bioshock 2 pretty much exact pretty much the exact same game but Bioshock 2 was literally what Bioshock 1 should have been. But either anyway, there's still pr there's pretty much a really good game franchise. And <laughs> in theory, they practically pr pretty much play like the exact same game. But of course, there's more to it and whatnot. <laughs> This only this time the logo got barnacles on them and whatnot. And unlikely from the previous game, the manual pretty much has pretty much has the same art the art concept as the as the box art. But still. Uh, it had multiplayer on it. It had multiplayer on it. Uh, and, uh, you're playing as a big daddy instead of poorly having to become one, just like the first title, but you're actually a big daddy. You got the drill, you collect little sisters and whatnot, and pretty much, 
the exact same game, RPG style, RPG FPS style. Uh, yeah, and pretty much this game got the same praise as its uh, former counterpart. Network play up to two to ten players, and uh, that's pretty much it. Maybe one more quick look, see maybe before I go before I push, uh, take it back. I'm pretty sure this game got a red case too, but I only got the the more pale edition. I got the pale edition to the game, but I'm pretty sure Bioshock yeah I got a red case too. Actually, if I'm pretty sure the they all became game of the year, so I'm pretty sure. And last but not least, although hold your tongue, everyone, I enjoyed the whole Bioshock series. I enjoyed all three of the games. I enjoyed the whole trilogy, but. Mm. I'm going to have to say that Bioshock Infinite would be my least favorite of the franchise. <sighs> Man. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to have to say something, though. I'm lucky from Bioshock 1 and 2, you're, you're actually playing with a character. There's actually a character. I mean, there's characters in the first two games, of course, but... You know, there's actually an identity. You actually see the person you're playing as face. You know, they're actually there. They're talking. They got dialogue. And you're not playing with cardboard in the first games. I mean, even though if you don't like Booker DeWitt, I honestly got mixed feelings for the character. He's kind of a sleazeball. But, yeah. Uh, more or less, Bioshock Infinite. Kind of largely strays away from, kind of largely strays away from its uh, RPG uh, uh, like elements. Uh, Bioshock Infinite mostly, it's mostly close to a, uh, you know, act, pure action, you know, type game. I mean, it got RPG like elements here and there sprinkled around the game, but really, it's mostly focuses on that more action. Uh, concept more action point of view than the back than the, the previous two other games. Uh, is this is the game's interior, the CD cover, and just like Bioshock, Bioshock One, they got a different uh, uh, you know game manual illustration, and just like Bioshock One, it also has a different you know, uh, 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 box art design in terms. Uh, they had the little uh, proverb from from one of the Glutus twins that follow you out through the game. It was drawn different. The box, the, the the box art, the manual box art is different. It's Elizabeth and Booker. Uh, yeah, I enjoy I enjoyed all of them, but like I said before, Infinite will be actually my least favorite of the franchise. It kind of it kind of really actually strays away from the really strong RPG elements that were present in the previous two other games, and. I think Infinite, if it wasn't as popular, then it was probably as more popular than the, than the previous two other games. As you can clearly see, winner of over 80 awards. But still, but still, but still, kind of almost an utterly different game. Just with Bioshock smacked onto it. But yeah, pretty good. Uh... Kind of shadier art style, and it's not in the 60s anymore. It's in it's 1912, and uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, if I'm pretty sure, if I'm pretty sure, Bioshock. If I'm pretty sure Bioshock is is has a HD remix. Has a H, has a HD remix on a PS2, a PS4, man. Uh, yeah. Probably one of my favorite franchises of all time, and you know my overall. And considering I keep you know reiterating, 
This is probably one of my favorite game franchise of all time. So I'm going to have to give the overall rating exceptional. And well, that's pretty much about it. Just a little more glimpse before you go. Uh, uh, subscribe, like, down below, you know, you know the drill. I got Patreon, you can catch me around there too sometimes.